What's good, ladies and gentlemen? How y'all doing? The Legend of Zelda is one of the biggest titles in gaming and one of the biggest titles that Nintendo owns right there with Mario. Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, just to name a few of the newest big Zelda games, which I have heard nothing but great things about. But today, I want to take it a little old school. I want to go back and remember some of the OG classics and the Zelda game that not only was my first Zelda game, but was my first video game in general. And that was The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. This was slightly different from a lot of the other Zelda games. I mean, Zelda wasn't even in it. <laughs> You know, <laughs> so yes, I did actually think that Link was Zelda for the longest time, but I had a good excuse, all right? In my first Zelda game, Zelda wasn't in the game, so I assumed. Luckily, I was later informed and corrected. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, this still to this day is definitely one of my favorite Zelda games. It is very enjoyable and super fun to play. It's unique and different. And when I first played this as an eight year old, boy, oh boy, did it make an impact on my life. And yes, I still remember characters, the world, the music, all to this day. The gameplay, absolutely fun. You were able to explore the world freely which was very awesome to see on the Game Boy Color. You would fight through various dungeons, very creative in their puzzles, which when I look back now, when I was eight and nine years old, I don't know how I solved these puzzles because I look back now and I'm like, I, there's no way I would have guessed that. I don't know, maybe my brain has just, I've been losing IQ over the years. <laughs> But Link's Awakening honestly shows its creativity around every single corner. The dungeons were fun, creative, and unique. Each one differently themed with a variety of enemies, a semi-boss, and the big boss himself. Every single boss was fought differently. Fighting the boss itself was kind of a puzzle, especially the first time that you come around and actually have to fight him. You don't know how do you even kill him. So the gameplay was generally fun and the world itself was beautiful to explore. With the limited hardware that they had at the time on the Game Boy and Game Boy Color, it was very impressive that at no point did I feel restricted. At no point did it feel like, oh, this world is very small or it doesn't work. No, because the way that they did it was pretty smart. I love the different parts of the world. I always wanted to explore more and more a variety of landscapes and music to accompany each different area and dungeon. The music in this game was phenomenal. One of the best soundtracks in gaming, in my opinion, ever. The music was super memorable and every location, every dungeon had music associated with it. The music in this game, if I hear it today, the world music, the shop music, the dungeon music, the different zones in the world, the game ending song, the Ballad of the Windfish. Oh my gosh, that song literally gives me PTSD, guys. If I hear that song, it's a rap. I gotta cry. <laughs> We can't forget the great characters in this game, and especially Marin, Marin, bro, Marin, Marin. I don't know how to pronounce it. Yo, th this game, it was all text, all right? I've always called her Marin, so I don't know if there's a debate on how people pronounce that or if I'm going to get roasted, but it's Marin. I will never forget you, okay? <laughs> Guys, as an eight-year-old, this story literally traumatized me. All of it. All the characters we met, all the world that we've explored, the enemies, the friends, everything was all a dream. It was the dream of a space whale, the, the, the freaking windfish. Yes, okay, maybe that trope is overdone today, and that's why it's a trope now. But at the time, it wasn't a trope. And since I, you know, I, was, I was a kid, man, the first time I heard of this, I was like, oh my gosh. No way, it can't be. It can't be that everything I've done, everyone I've met, it's all a lie, it's a dream. Impossible. So basically, as a nine-year-old, this game made me question reality and whether everything was just a figment of my imagination. Are we all just in the dreams of a space whale? Don't worry, I didn't go insane or anything. <laughs> 
<laughs> but seriously, it was a super fun story and very impactful. It was awesome to see. It was awesome to play through. And it was an actually impactful ending. And especially at the end, just when Marin's saying, don't forget about me. Almost, you know, they're like aware that, that this is all a dream, bro. And it's just like, everything's gonna fade away. And, and even back then, man, when that music was playing and you saw the island fading away. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> the emotions here, bro. Right in the feels, man. And to this day, I mean, that music, the Ballad of the Windfish, it is one of my favorite songs in all of just gaming soundtracks. I love it. It's great. And it's always going to hold that special place in my heart, man. But ladies and gentlemen, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will always be one of my favorite games and always hold that special place within my gaming career because it was the first video game that I ever played. Does that make me biased? Perhaps. But that doesn't mean that this game is not amazing. I know that there's a remaster now on the Switch. I have not played it, but I have seen a little bit of gameplay. And it does seem like it's loyal to the original material while expanding on certain things and switching up certain aspects like the music or locations, but just slightly and making it better, perhaps. I don't know. I've never played it. So even though it was a dream in a fictional video game, the impact, the emotions, and, and the fun that I had, that was all real. It'll always be a memory and an experience that I will never forget. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you so very much for being here. Please do consider subscribing if you have not, as well as following me on Twitch. All those links are going to be down in the description below. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks again, and until next time, I'll see ya.